gunk holing. Last episode, we had so much fun exploring Wallace Island. The Pacific Northwest is absolutely beautiful. It's amazing to go gunk holing, check out the beaches, and just enjoy our surroundings. Now, if you don't know what gunk holing is, gunk holing is basically taking a small boat, like our tender, and exploring the shoreline around you, just going in and out of coves and checking things out and seeing what you can find. On a this week, join us as we head to Montague Harbor on Galliano Island to hide I from a storm. Doing it. Yes. Hey everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago, we decided that it was time for our family to move on to a boat. But not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. is on the left over here. There's Shell Beach. I have to go check that out. Unfortunately, some of the days my hands get really sore. This is one of those days. What's that? It's too strong. I can't do it. Okay. We decided to tuck ourselves right into the southwest corner of the harbor. Seals were teasing Maggie on purpose. Maybe you can drop, but I'll pull the tender up. was a master class in anchoring right there. That was pretty good. Were you should happy captain? Happy captain. Happy captain. You yeah. happy where we are? I am. This should provide a nice little bit of shade for us. This will actually be very similar to being in Bridwood. It would be. We'll probably get these little gusts like this that'll come off the top, but it'll mostly be okay. Perfect. I like it. What do you think we should do? What do you think we should do? <laughs> Let's go have a nap. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. All right, I'm gonna and then we'll go exploring this afternoon. <laughs> I'm gonna put an anchor watch on. That'd be good. We're off to go exploring in Montague Harbor! You ready, Izzy? Yeah. Go fast, fast? Where we go. So the easiest path to that side 
You can say it's up there and just swirl up to there. Okay, and then we can walk around Great Peninsula. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Because I don't think we can. Because there's a lot of paths. I say we walk along this one. I don't know if I'd be tenting. I think uh, these people are crazy. crazy. I like having a diesel heater. We're not, we're not good for tenting. We're we not there. Well. We tenting almost leads to divorce for us. <laughs> Nothing gets tempting. Just we're not very good us. at it. We're not very good at it. No, not at all. Walk me in the morning sun. Tell me I'm a Riding on the way of an ocean that I could be brave. This is cool rock here. You think it's kind of cool, eh? Yeah. You like it so far? Yeah, Maggie's gonna cut her paws. You think so? Uh, so those barnacles are pretty sharp. The only problem with right, in the Pacific here. Northwest with the dog Got is here. they cut their paws on the barnacles. Here. Are you checking them? Putting them back on, putting her back on leash as we're catching up to people up in front of us. The crabbies in the tidal pools. Hey, little dude. See, there we go. He's a little green one. This one? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Central. Whoa, look at all that. You should put your hand in there, I dare you. No, I'm gonna put my hand in all those little crab dudes. Wow. Okay, put the rock back for them. Here you go, little dudes. That was cool, eh? Oh, I almost crushed that one. It's okay, go back. Dude. Bye bye. That's cool, this eh? This one's still here. Hey. Wait, He's angry. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't want angry crab. Hey, chill. Fine, let's just leave him. And I want him to go back in his little home. <laughs> Look at his crab, look at his wait, little wait. crabby legs. He's like, I get you, I get you, I get you. Are you gonna pinch it? He's pinching it. <laughs> I pinch you. Pinch. He's gonna pinch me. Ah, and you go. This one's going right across the seaweed. <laughs> do you need a little nudge back to your home? I just do it with my finger. Oh, wrong oh way. he's angry. Hey, you get, get Oh yeah, just leave him. He's good now, he's hiding. Right. This design on the stone is cool. It's like it was meant to be. Izzy, come look at this design on the rock. Oh yeah, look at them circle, eh? Yeah. It's like a... Oh, it also... How loose it is, it just falls apart. It's like a shale. Yeah, like even... Like any of this stuff, just... Oh, you don't really want to erode it, but that's amazing. Yeah. And the roots right into it. Yeah. Come look at this, Izzy. Crazy how soft it is. Come look at this. It's like a full circle in there. And the fact that all of it is so soft. This is a tree I can sit on. <laughs>
<laughs> you can stop. Restaurant and they're hiring a pub support girl. I'm gonna bonk my. Really, Maggie? I'm gonna bonk my head. Ah! More spacious than you can. Oh, that's your new home. You just stay here tonight. What no. do you think? I'm not staying here tonight. But it's a Galliano restaurant. This is not my job. <laughs> So this is cool, the red cedar, or, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce it. Um, it's called the Tree of Life because it was used by the Coast Salish peoples in almost every aspect of life, including building canoes, houses, clothing, hunting and fishing equipment, and sacred cleansings. Branches were used for spirit cleansing. For medicine, you take the ones that are heavy cedar boughs. There are many uses of cedar. Cedar hats, baskets, the skin will never rot, but it might wear out. Cedar skin bleeds just like us human beings. It is red when cut. It is British Columbia's official tree and it grows best in moist to wet soils with lots of nutrients and can reach heights of 60 meters. It can grow in the shade and is long lived and sometimes over 1,000 years old. 1,000! 1,000! That's a lot of years. That's cool. That's cool. That's more years. And then we learned about the local shellfish. Yeah, they may prove fatal to anyone who eats them. The poison may be stored for up to two years and is not destroyed by freezing or cooking. Oh, geez. Always contact fisheries and oceans for a bag of limits. That's what bag we limits were and to check if this area is close yeah. to shellfish har harvesting. So you've got the horse clam, the pink bakuma, the Japanese little neck, native little neck, heart cockle, the sand clam, butter clam. So those are butter clams, Izzy, those shells you're looking at, and the mud clam. On our way back to Tangaroa, we decided to take a little dinghy ride around the harbor. Look at the garden gnomes, Izzy. You see them? That's what do you mean that's terrifying? Why did you face them towards the people driving boats? <laughs> That's pretty cool. What's the steak? Is it well seasoned? Well seasoned, we'll say, yes. Is it a bit salty? We had a little bit of a just, mishap when seasoning the steak. As I was shaking the salt, the whole lid came off and salt covered everything. We just didn't corn. happen to capture it on video. <laughs> you killed the corn. <laughs> seven o'clock at night, so it's around seven and we just took, well, I did. Took Maggie to shore for her final pee. Um, I hadn't been to shore in Montague. Found the government dock. Went there. Kind of cool. Um, I've never seen so many outhouses in one place. I think I counted six of them. And then walked down to the restaurant right there. The crane and bird or whatever it's going to be called. Nothing's open though. Um, and I think I saw one other person. Seaplanes leave from here, which is kind of cool. $125 for a trip to Vancouver. That's like the same price as a ferry. So that's not bad. But yeah, it's just a very peaceful night. Let me show you Tangaroa. We just got a little bit of a sunset. Good morning from Montague Harbor. We've got five seals that have been hanging around, saying hi. They're over there, fishing. You see them? Hold on, let me show you. Right. In there. And Miss Maggie is like, I gotta go pee. Lane? So Maggie says. She does have to go pee. I gotta go pee. So let's go for a hike. And grab the keys to dog leash. You're not the boss of me. Sometimes I feel like I am. I think after 20 years of marriage, I'm the boss. Or sometimes I let him feel like the boss. <laughs> okay, let's go! Hey, steady! Ah! <laughs> okay. Well, we're going zoom zoom. This morning we looked at one of the books and they showed us where the midden is down here in Montague. So we're going to walk the shore over and go check it out. The shore is so different from the other side, the other side being so many shells. That is a big tree that floated in here. 
Montague Harbor, the presence of the past. 3,000 years ago, a village. Imagine a bustling native village on the beach. Women are hanging fish to dry. Bless you. Women are hanging fish to dry on high racks or shucking clams for the feast, while children pry mussels from the nearby rocks. Today, a midden. What remains of this old village site is many layers of discarded clam and mussel shells broken into tiny pieces by the action of the waves, called a midden. Archaeologic archaeologists have dug up ancient tools, animal remains, and other materials from the site to piece together a story of Coast Salish life. So this is the midden here of the old Aboriginal village. So you can see the shells and layers in the dirt. So as it collected over time, this shows the history of the First Nations people here in Montague Harbour. This morning we're going to go clockwise around, even though we didn't go all the way around yesterday. No. We hit the beach yesterday because no, wanted to go beach combing. Izzy doesn't like hiking, but she'll go beach combing. So it's kind of like we're not liveaboards, we're cruisers. It's just a little distinction. So when we go to shore, we say, Izzy, we're going beach combing. But really, we're kind of going hiking just on a beach. But you know, 15 year olds, that's what you do. And this is why we're kind of chilling in here right now. We've got uh, probably about, I'd say 25 to 30 knots of wind blowing um, outside the bay. Uh, right now we're just getting big gusts inside of here, really whipping the trees around. But um, yeah, we're, we're hoping this will die down around noon and we'll, we'll sneak out in the window and make it back to Brentwood. Isn't it cool? She's amazing. So funny, funny on this walk. We finally just, I don't know, we came out to this side and we have reception. So we're Blaine is just going to check out. Yeah, it's still this afternoon. It predict wind. Off. What time? Um, let's see here. Shows like uh, three o'clock. Die off at three o'clock? Yep. So that's our window that we're going to take off in. Three to five o'clock is pretty calm. So there that's you where, go. That's where we're at now. Yep. Red is bad. Yeah. That's when we're leaving. What time's that at? That's five o'clock. We'll leave before then. Yep. But. Had a wonderful time in Montague Harbor, but we got to sit here while it's, you know, pissing down rain and blowing a hoolie. So Blaine's decided to fix the windshield wipers. Well, inch white burr. Because we might need those. Well, we're definitely going to need it. So he is doing some wiring. Yes, this I am. This switch? Oh, around the side of you there. It's these three wires here. And they go to this switch here. Right now I'm fixing the wires at the wiper motor. So the actual park function works. And then I'll start putting the switch back in properly. You may remember in some past videos I was having issues because I had to take the bare wire and touch the other bare wire to make the windshield wiper go back and forth. He's going to fix that for me right now. No more. No more. What you do? I Guess fix, what? Fix the windshield wipers. Okay. Wiper. So now we have high speed and it's only high speed. No need for low speed on this. And then park. It parks. It does. That's a new thing. It never parked before. And it always parks in the same place. Well, that's good. Every time. Good job, Blaine. I'm feeding Stella some oil. Stella needs oil. Stella is thirsty. She needs to be lubed up. I typically run Stella a little lower on oil because Stella tends to puke oil if you're anywhere near the full mark. Oh, Stella. Lead me to believe that the full mark is incorrect on the motor. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, just to give everyone an idea, these old Detroit diesels, these engines take 10 gallons of oil. So <laughs> Fully I will, oil changes. So I, when I fill these up, I have to buy two five gallon pails each. So That's four five-gallon pails of oil. 
yeah. thirsty bitches, aren't they? They are. <laughs> so that'll be another benefit with the new engines. Not only that, these are terrible, terrible filters to change. They are so nasty and they don't, they don't, they're just not a good design. Not a good design. Not a good design. Okay, let's go. Okay. Out of my way. You want me to get out of the way? Yes, please. It yucky out. I'm not happy. So this, the wind is just calming down like we said, but I didn't expect all the rain, but that's okay. Just press a button. I would like I would like a remote control. So this thing was hooked well because it was bogging, so we actually had to back down on the anchor. Her name and 
I was standing here at my, my helm, and I felt her rub in behind my legs. And I looked down, and she had come from one side, but I already looked over there. Couldn't find her anywhere. We think she was down in this little hole here. Blaine, or down in this little hole. Blaine took the air compressor out of there, and we think that's where she was. Down in there, cuddled up. But doggy, you scared us. And it's kind of. Oh wait, I was kind of doing it wrong anyways. I'm like, be doing wrong. I don't know. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our adventures at Montague Harbor. Don't forget to check out our Patreon page at Onboard Tangroa. And if you get a chance and want to know more about Tangroa and our family, check out OnboardTangroa.com. See you on the inside.